Hello and welcome to part two of my eyeshadow palette collection and declutter. Um, I'm just going to dive right on in because I have a lot to go through. So first up here is the Lime Crime Venus palette. And she looks like this. Um, I originally got this just to try the formula. Um, it's not a palette I'm going to wear. So if I'm honest, that one needs to be decluttered. And then I have the Lime Crime Venus 3, and this is what she looks like. Um, I think I'm going to keep hold of this one for now, just to see if I play with her before the next collection and declutter. If I don't, then uh, she will be on the chopping block, but for now, she's safe. And next up here, if I look hot and sweaty, it's because I am. It is absolutely boiling here today. This is not the norm for England, believe me. So next up I have the Colourpop Bye Bye Birdie and she looks like this. I love this palette so much from the artwork to the colour story. The only thing I'm not so keen on is the glitter. I am a huge pressed glitter fan. But that one just, yeah, it just doesn't work. Neither does that one. This one is just big flakes that fall off everywhere. And this is just messy and doesn't stick. So, yeah, I'm not a fan. And also, the Super Shock formula, I cannot get the hang of. But I still love this palette and I don't want to part with it. So it's staying. And then next up is my Mandalorian the Child palette from Colourpop. I love him. Look how cute he is. I love him. And this is the colour story. I love this. This is like my perfect neutral palette. How cute. But the colours are amazing. I especially like the uh, shade in the middle there. It's called Baby Face. Love it. So yes, 100% staying. I keep him in his box because I just want to keep him safe. And then next up I have the Colourpop Main Squeeze. And this is what she looks like. Um, I have only played with this once so I am going to hang on to it and just see if I play with it again. If not, then another one will be on the chopping block safe for now and then next up I have the Beauty Bay Pastels palette and she looks like this I love this so much these are the perfect blending out shades if you're wearing like bright colors and you're looking for a shade to blend it out with these are perfect for that but it's also just a, a beautiful palette they perform really well I love it staying and another one from Beauty Bay. I think we're on, on a bit of a roll from Beauty Bay at the moment. Uh, so this is the 16 colour bright palette. And she looks like this. Amazing performance. I was blown away with this palette. I absolutely love it. So yeah, 100% not going anywhere. If you love your bright colours and you don't want the large version of this palette, then the 16 is really good. I like it a lot. And next up is the Sunset Horizons. These are all beauty bear at the moment. I will say when it changes. And the Sunset Horizons looks like this. I believe you can still get this one. I loved the quality of the eyeshadows. Absolutely beautiful. Absolutely beautiful. So yes. Another one staying. Oh dear. And then the Book of Magic. This one is discontinued. I will show you what she looks like in case you don't know. I am so sad that they discontinued this palette. I know so many people missed out on it and would really love to own it. It performs amazingly well. I, I love it so, so much. And I wish Beauty Bay would bring it back. Hopefully, I'm keeping everything crossed that they bring it back for... Halloween? We shall see. But anyway, that's staying. <laughs> and 
Next up I have two little palettes from Makeup by Lisa. Um, I am going to pop them in the declutter pile because I much prefer her new formula in the nine pan palettes. So these two quads are in for declutter. And then next up here is SP Cosmetics. I have all four. Um, you'll see one of them towards the end because I haven't used it yet. So we've got the yellow one, the pinky one, and the green one. I love these, absolutely amazing quality. They're not going anywhere. I'm really excited to see what else SP Cosmetics comes out with. Um, it's a UK indie brand, which I love. Now we are on to BH Cosmetics, and the first one I have is the Pistachio. It's their Sweet Shop palettes. I love this. Look at that. How perfect is that? If you're a green lover, this is just perfect. I love this. You've got your light to dark in both the mattes and the shimmers. I am in love. The formula is amazing in these palettes. I do have one more of them. And that is the bubble gum. I love this. And look at that. I'm sorry, I get really overexcited when, uh, when I come across some of my favourite ones. But how beautiful is that? beautiful yeah they definitely need to come out and play some more because the quality is just amazing i don't know if you can still get hold of them i hope so because again they're amazing and then next up from bh cosmetics i have the 80s dance remix this look at that oh my word i had so much fun playing with this palette it's got amazing quality. The colour story is just spot on. I love it so much. This is like the colours of my youth. So perfect. Definitely not going anywhere. I do, however, need some water because my mouth is dry. Two seconds. Okay, that's better. So... <laughs> On to Certify, which is another UK indie brand. Um, I'm hoping they're going to bring out some new stuff soon. Um, but first up, I have the Dynasty palette. I love the artwork on these. Just look at that. And on the inside, this is what she looks like. Absolutely gorgeous. I love the quality of Certify eyeshadows and... I love what I love about this one in particular is you've got a monochromatic look in each row beautiful so yeah if you're in a hurry you like rushing out the door you want a bit of color or you just want a quick easy look just pick a row yeah definitely staying because I love it and then next from certifies the tropical wonders palette look at the lion and she looks like uh, this beautiful color story i love you've got a bit of everything in there really you've even got the black and the white in this one which i know a lot of people really appreciate i i love this i i'm gonna say that about all of them because i love them this one is all matte which is absolutely fine by me because I have so many single shimmers and I have an all multi-chrome palette coming which would be perfect to go along with uh, my all matte palettes but yes definitely staying I've got to stop saying definitely right <laughs> so the next one is the affinity 2 palette and this one's my favorite of them and you're about to see why look at that absolutely gorgeous i have played with this a few times now um i also did a collab with um amanda from beauty and recovery i will i'll put that up in the cards for if you want to check that out because that was so much fun so i had the bottom half of the palette and amanda had the top half and it was just so so much fun so yeah anyway that'll be linked um up in the cards linked that'll be up in the cards for if you want to see it but yes that one's staying 
I love it. And then next is the Made by Mitchell Feet on the Ground. I, oh, I love this so much. Just look at that. How beautiful. Can you see all the colours? These greens are the bomb. But the yellows, the yellows are really surprising. They're, oh, they're perfect. And this shimmer here. It's to die for. I love it so much. Um, so yes, not going anywhere. And then the last one in the first pile is the Head in the Clouds palette from Made by Mitchell. Again, not going anywhere. Look at that. Such a beautiful colour story. I picked up the Feet on the Ground palette. I didn't think I wanted this. Um, and then I saw people playing with it, um, Katie, <laughs> so I had to get it and oh, it's one of my favourites, I love it. Okay, so I'm going to quickly pop these aside and get pile number two to go through. Okay, so another big pile to go through. So first up I have the Revolution Reloaded Deep Dive. Now. I have clung on to this purely because my daughter bought it for me and it hardly ever gets touched and I know that my daughter collects the Revolution palettes. They are her favourites and she hasn't got this so I will be passing that to her. And then from I Heart Revolution I have the Cotton Candy, one of the chocolate bar palettes and this is what she looks like absolutely beautiful however i don't pick it up and my daughter will love it so and another one i have from my heart revolution is the tasty avocado i hang on to this because i absolutely love the color story the performance is it's it's good it's good um but it's not the best and the packaging <laughs> I love it, but it's wasted in my collection, especially when my daughter would treasure it. So that one's gone too. So next up I have the Nine Shade palettes from Makeup by Lisa, what I was on about. Um, so I've got the You're Out of This World eyeshadow palette. Makeup by Lisa is a UK indie brand. And this is what she looks like. Um, absolutely gorgeous um there are a few palettes amongst this that i was gifted i i can remember obviously some of them um but yes some have been gifted or pr and others i've bought myself so yes anyways so this is the you're out of this world palette it is amazing the glitters the pressed glitters are just perfect absolutely perfect i have loved the looks i created with this palette so so much it, this has got to be one of my favorite palettes in my collection i love it obviously not going anywhere um none of these makeup by lisa nine pans are going anywhere because i love them um so the next one is macaron eyeshadow palette and oh, i love the packaging how cute is that and then on the inside, this is your colour story. And this is a colour story I absolutely love. Again, I have loved the looks I've created with this palette. Perfect. And also the, uh, the shade in the middle here, um, Bonbon, makes a really nice blush. And Cream makes a really nice highlight. So yeah, <laughs> there's that too. Yes, I really, really enjoy this. Highly, highly recommend the Makeup by Lisa nine pan palettes. And then another one is the Secret Garden eyeshadow palette. And look at her. There's no words, no words. The color story just screams my name. Oh, and the pressed glitters, again, they are such amazing quality. They're so easy to use. 
really amazing. Um, if you are not a fan of glitter, the Macaron palette doesn't have any glitters in. So there's an option if you don't like glitter, but this is so worth it. And the glitter lasted all day on my face, on my face, on my eyes. It didn't drop onto my face. So highly recommend and I love it. And it's 100% staying. And then the last one of these nine pan palettes in this pile is the seashell palette. And this is another beauty. Look at that. She has smashed it with these nine pounds. They are just amazing. So yes, if you can get your hands on any of these nine pound palettes, you won't be disappointed. They are amazing. So the next palette is the Club Nebula from Kaleidos and it was a collaboration with Angelica Nikvist. Um, I don't know if it's coming out again. I think, I don't know, I don't know. So uh, you can check that one out, <laughs> but I don't believe it is. But anyways, this is the colour story. I am completely in love with this palette, completely in love. I have loved every single look I've created with it. I have used every single shadow. They are all amazing, just perfect. I'm in love with that. So 100% not going anywhere. And just look at that packaging. Look at that. Absolutely amazing. I think Angelica did an amazing job coming up with those shades and it's just perfect, absolutely perfect. Okay, so now moving on to the most part of my Juvia's Place collection. So the first palette is the Magic. I do have the larger one. I'm filming, aren't I? Yes. <laughs> I do have the larger one and she looks like this absolutely gorgeous i i'm in love with this palette and um, the shades i'm just going to swatch a couple of these uh shimmers for you because the shimmers are really where it's at let's do you two look at that look at them Stunning, absolutely stunning. So that is this shade here and this one here. But yes, none of my Juvia's collection will be going anywhere. The next one is the Masquerade, which again, I have the larger size and this is what she looks like. Another absolutely stunning palette from Juvia's. This one also has the neutral bottom half. I do have to admit, I've I've not really used that at all. <laughs> so, but I've swatched it. <laughs> yes, the top two rows are where it's at for me with that palette. So the next one is the Warrior 3. And just... That packaging just sucks me in every time. And this is the colour story. So, so beautiful. So beautiful. Yeah, going nowhere. And then I have the Warrior 2. I don't actually have the Warrior, the original one. This is the Warrior 2. These are brilliant for transition shades. Or Yeah, it's an all matte palette. I wouldn't say it's a standalone palette, it's definitely um, for in combination with another palette, but yeah, I like it. And then we have the Zulu, and she looks like this, and oh my word, these two shimmers here, so the green and the turquoise one, so look at that. look at them shimmers <laughs> they're just 
so amazing I absolutely love Juvia's formula so yeah that was the Zulu and then next up is my favorite one and it is the tribe this is amazing look at that color story firstly that color story is amazing but then you've got this shade here which looks like a neutral shimmer yeah but so just so you can see it's that i'm going in with so i've got it on my finger there and then can you see the green shift in that It is just such it's like a yellowy green it's got such a an amazing shift to it oh I love it so yes the tribe is going nowhere well, none of these are I keep saying that and next up I have the festival and this is another amazing palette I I love this so much these two reds up the top stunning absolutely stunning and so you've got the white shimmer and the black shimmer let me see if I can swatch those out All right, I seem to have started swatching now <laughs> so you've got the white and the black there beautiful absolutely highly pigmented stunning shadows um which i have come to know and love from juvia's and then we have the deuce i think it's deuce do you see yes look at that this color story just for me screams like wedding um just so beautiful so so beautiful i I love everything about this palette. Oh, wow. So, uh, creme, cream came out. So I'm going to be very careful I hold it. <laughs> this shade here is what flew out. So, yes. Place that now. Absolutely beautiful palette. I love it. And next up is the Saharan. Another beautiful palette. And this here is the colour story. Love it. Staying and the last one in this pile is the Nubian Royal this I was so impressed by look at that I mean the color story is beautiful I was so impressed with the press glitter but obviously also the shimmers and the mattes are your usual amazing Juvia's quality I love this so much Right, now we are going to be moving on to the piles of palettes that I haven't touched yet. So, just a second. Okay, so going into the palettes I haven't used yet, and very excitingly, whilst I have been filming this video, look what arrived. This is the Lois Cosmetics Meet Me in the Underworld palette. I had it upside down <laughs> oh I'm so excited you have no idea it just came with the most beautiful packaging and I'll just show you these bits so you've got this card with the story on and then you've got these two leaves and oh it's so beautiful so beautiful but this is the palette look artwork I cannot wait to play with this baby look at the color story how absolutely perfect is that it is so beautiful and nymph just looks like the most amazing grungy green and woodland and then you've got enchanted and forest obviously the greens draw me in first but you then got these really beautiful like snake bites I am so excited to use this and just how amazing that it turned up whilst I was filming my palette collection. All right, next up I have two more of Makeup by Lisa's Nine Pan palettes. So first off I have I Love the 90s 
and this is an all shimmer palette beautiful i still have oh, i've just told you that haven't i i haven't tried these yet and then we have the cookies and cream just look at that packaging so good and this one is a mix of matte and shimmers and um, these were very kindly gifted to me um all of the makeup by lisa nine pans were gifted i can remember that my poor brain just doesn't remember anything these days um so next up is the sample beauty the hydrographic palette i've been after this for so long and just look at that i think it's pretty obvious why i wanted this one yes so that one has joined my collection next up let me take it out of this box thing crikey so next up i have the kaleidos futurism 3 astro pink oh i am so over the moon with it look at that how beautiful i have been dying to try these out just for a long time now i've seen so many people playing with these palettes and loving them and creating the most beautiful looks and now i have it i also have the electro turquoise coming my way so super exciting stuff and then sticking with kaleidos i have the escape pod it is in the box so i'm gonna have to take it out um oh i also have the flower punk palette the new palette coming from kaleidos which i'm very excited about look at that packaging i mean it is beautiful um once i had the club nebula i i knew i had to have this too it's it's so perfect and it feels so luxurious all right let me just take that out a moment and this is the color story i am so excited to play with that i think it's going to not only be an amazing standalone palette but also i think it's going to be an amazing sister palette to the club nebula which i am so looking forward to finding out all right and now we are on to ve cosmetics so i have the new blood moon palette and she looks like this it is an all matte palette and just look at those shades look at the depth in those shades i am so excited to try her out um I just, i'm gonna have to try and make time appear for most of these and the other one i have is the lovers and just look at that that is absolutely beautiful and on the back here oh you've got a little a little verse that's so cute what does it say the sun and moon in in an internal dance it, I'm going to start again. The sun and moon in an eternal dance, bringing me warmth and darkness to rest, working in harmony. I bring that balance into my life. I open my heart to the light. I open my heart to balance, to restore me fully. I embrace the love the world has for me. I love that. I love that. And then this is the colour story absolutely beautiful i'm so excited to play with that one also and i know that my beautiful little niece ella would love to see me do a unicorn look <laughs> with that one so it's on the cards all right the next palette is from she glam which is the brand at Shein and i have the cactus cool palette and this is what she looks like a whole palette of green beautiful i'm so excited to play with this also so i do need to wait on a couple more bits to arrive and then i will have 
a full face of she glam to try i figured that would uh make for a good video because it's a very very affordable brand and uh yeah i just want to test all of their products out so the next palette is another really exciting one for me to try and it is alien cosmetics and this is the serendipity strawberry milkshake palette the artwork look at that i'm a sucker for the artwork and this is the color story how beautiful is that i can't wait to try them out can't wait i have heard katie of makeup for lost time raving about this brand for so long um the whole shipping and customs thing put me off for a long time um but yeah i went for it and this is what i got and she's a beauty so yes another video coming up i'm gonna have to stop saying soon because some of these they can't all be soon surely <laughs> at this rate there's going to be a video every day coming up right so the next palette is from V Cosmetics and it is Vixen. It's not one of the new palettes. I just, I had to have it because just look at that. How beautiful is that? And also there was uh, proceeds going towards the Beds and Bucks Hunt Saboteurs. So basically just stop fox hunting. Super cute. And this palette is also Nikki Raven's fault <laughs> look at her she's beautiful and uh, yes I saw Nikki use this palette and uh, yeah it jumped onto my wish list and here it is so extremely happy with that okay so the next palette is from Revolution it is the new collaboration with Soph and it is called, what is it called? Super Spice. And she looks like this. I haven't tried either of the first two. My daughter has them all now, including the baby one. Um, but yes, I've heard so many good things about them. I didn't see any point in picking those ones up because they're kind of older and uh, I didn't really want them bad enough to to get an older palette like that I don't know if that makes any sense but when I saw this collab mentioned um, I jumped on it because now I want to see what all the fuss is about and then next up I have kimchi chic the two queens in one desert it's the collaboration with kimchi chic and Naomi Smalls I love Naomi Smalls. I love kimchi too, but Naomi Smalls was, was, is amazing. Absolutely amazing. But I wanted to give the formula one more chance because um, if you watch part one um, of the eyeshadow palette collection, you will know that I did declutter the um, you Make Me Happy, I think it's called, that palette because the... The shimmers were so lacklustre and disappointing so i am hoping with everything i've got that that these shimmers are better because i so desperately want to love the products i'm so desperate to love it so uh fingers crossed that will restore my faith but we shall see okay the next one is poppy cosmetics the neon drip palette and she looks if i can get my hands around the right way like this look at those bright colors this is just oh it's summer in a palette i am so excited to try this out beautiful i have kind of dug my fingers in it for swatching i couldn't resist but it's not a brand new palette so I just need to play with it it's gorgeous absolutely gorgeous and then next up we have clara cosmetics um and this is malibu um 
I believe they're an Australian indie brand. Yes, Australian owned and designed. So yes, this is an Australian indie brand and this is the colour story. Um, it's a very muted colour story and I wouldn't necessarily say it's my ideal colour story but I really wanted to try the brand. I wanted to try the formula. So yes, I will be filming with this at some point, trying it out. Obviously the brand new palettes that are out, they're going to take priority um, for videos because they're newer. But yeah, I'm looking forward to trying that one. And then I have two more Juvia's Place palettes here. So I have the Afrique. I've been after this for the longest time. And now she has joined my collection. Just look at that. I'm in love. I cannot wait to try that out. So yes, that one is the Afrique. <laughs> I can't get my words together. And the next is the Queen palette. It's the Fumi and Juvia collaboration. And this is what she looks like. So this is a multi-purpose palette. Um, I am so excited to try this as both eyeshadows, blush, highlight. I'm super excited. So that is that one. So I'm going to nip off and get another pile of palettes and then I'll be right back. So don't go anywhere. The next palette up is from Island Play Cosmetics. This is a UK indie brand that specializes in Caribbean beauty. And this is their Reggae Ma eyeshadow palette. This is the new one. So another one I'm really looking forward to uh, putting on my eyes. So this here is the colour story. Absolutely beautiful. I can't wait to play with her. So yes, another one. Um, another one I need to uh, make a video with. There's uh, quite a few here, isn't there? <laughs> so yeah, I think I'm going to be busy for a while yet. If I can put her away. And next up, this is one I'm so excited about. So, so excited about. This is the Lily Croaks palette from Metamorphosis. And this is what she looks like. Absolutely gorgeous. Oh, I love it so, so much. The colors just, oh, absolutely perfect. I have been dying to try Metamorphosis for a while. As soon as I saw this palette, I knew it was the one. So, yep, another one that I need to film with still. Okay, so we are down to the last pile. There's a lot here. Um, so firstly, I've got three of the Lethal Cosmetics palettes. This is the three new ones. So this is Memento and this is her here. I love the red tones in this one. I did get it as the bundle of the three um, so I just wanted them all. Um, yeah, so that one's Memento. I'm going to speed up slightly or this video is going to be hella long. And the next one is the Roots palette and this is my favourite one. <laughs> and she looks like this. Beautiful. These are all new shades. Um, so I'm super excited. And then the last one is Destiny. And if she'll come out of the slip. She looks like this. Absolutely gorgeous. So I'm so excited to try those through. I do have the four um, gel eyeliners that came along with. So how does that? So next up, I have here the Oma Queen to Be palette from the uh, Coming to America collection. I love the packaging on this. It is so kind of classy, I wanna say, bougie, beautiful. 
and then this here is the color story I'm in love I can't wait to play with it so beautiful um but yes I don't know what the formula is like I'm so excited to find out though and then I have the Venus XS Sunkist and she looks like this super excited to try that out then another small one we have the Violet Voss Le Macron and she looks like this I've been swatching away at this one beautiful and carrying on with the smaller palettes here I have this is the other SP Cosmetics palette the uh, Ooh, crikey the orange one I have a Natasha Denona palette this is the mini retro palette I love this color story it's so cute it's kind of kind of a little bit grungy I love it I love it I can't wait to try it because I have never tried any of Natasha Denona's eyeshadows so that is exciting and then next up next up is the Colourpop Amour little palette so cute look at that another one I'm super excited to try out I'm hoping that the press glitter formula in these is better than uh, the one I have in the Bye Bye Birdie palette or the two I have in there fingers crossed and I also have I believe from the same collection the 143 and and she looks like this I was I got the two hoping that I could use them together hoping I wanted the two so that I could use them together um, again it's got the press glitter which I am keeping everything crossed that the formula has improved but I love this colour story so I'm so happy to have that one so on to the larger palettes so I have the P. Louise the Secret Sinner palette and oh crikey and she looks like this beautiful um is an all matte palette and this is what she looks like she's an all matte palette and yeah if the formula is anything like the worldy I'm gonna love it so the next palette up I I am so ashamed I haven't tried this yet I really need to it's the be perfect carnival 3 love Tahiti the newer Stacey Marie one I really need to try it because just look at that it's just perfect absolutely perfect I haven't even swatched anything so I need to use that very very soon okay so the next palette is from HMB cosmetics it is the dare to be different this is a UK indie brand Um, I haven't tried this yet I've had a bit of a swatch that's about it um, yeah that is a cute little palette that I haven't tried yet and then is another UK indie brand um, which I'm so excited to try this is Eloise and the a queen is it called the queen so yes this is the queen palette I love the artwork again I'm a sucker for artwork and this is the color story it's so beautiful so yes I am super excited to be trying that um I will do a dedicated video just purely because it's a, a UK indie brand and I haven't tried anything from them as yet and I want to see if they're good and the next one is one that I have been after for a long time and finally I have my hands on her this is the Nomad by Juvia's and 
this is what she looks like just beautiful grungy goodness so happy to have this in my collection and to add to my ever-growing Julius Place collection I do have the Wahala 2 coming my way also which I'm super excited about and then the next one is another one from She Glam let me just get into this And this one is the Splash Bash palette. And, and she looks like this. I thought this colour story was really cute. So yeah, I had to try it. So another brand new palette that I am super, super excited to try is the Spellbook from Cursed Cosmetics. Cursed Cosmetics is a US indie brand. And let me just take the plastic slip out look at that it is just stunning and there's the three press glitters at the bottom i haven't tried this yet obviously i have already said that but i'm super super excited to and you have a spell on this side here i'm oh, I also have the three liquid lipsticks that come along. So I got the Spellbook bundle. So that is exciting also. The next one is one of the new BH Cosmetics from their Say It collection. This one is the Do Not Disturb. And, and this is what she looks like. Absolutely gorgeous colour story. And I'm so excited to see if it is the same wonderful formula that I have now grown to expect from BH Cosmetics. Beautiful. So that's that one. And then I have the Summer Palette from 5050 Makeup. And she looks like this. How stunning is that? I'm so excited, especially with summer coming up. So yes, super excited for that one. And then next up, how many have we got left? Three, we're down to the last three. So this one is the new Beauty Bay Utopia palette. And this is the color story. As soon as I saw that they were launching this, I knew I had to get it. How beautiful is that? I love the colours they chose. So yes, another one I am super excited to try. Wow. I'm a little overwhelmed, I do have to, <laughs> I do have to say. But it will all be okay. I also have the Menagerie and Annette's Makeup Corner palette coming my way which I'm super excited about I want to scream but I'm not going to I'm gonna be good um yes so that is on its way to me also and then next up we have Suva Magic and Ecstasy palette and she looks like this I'm so excited to try this one I I love that each color has the corresponding glitter beautiful and also I haven't tried Suva's formula so that is going to be interesting also so the final palette is the Luna Beauty Life's a Drag I have been told that this is being discontinued and is launching a newer version um, I still have yet to try it. Now I'm thinking, oh gosh, do I really want to touch it when I could, oh, I don't know. I'm not sure what to do with this. So for now, it is staying in my collection while I, uh, while I decide what I'm going to do. Because I do really, really want to try 
the formula from Luna Beauty. So yes, we shall see. So there you have it, my eyeshadow palette collection for May. We're in June now, aren't we? May, June 2021. So yes, I hope you enjoyed it as much as I enjoyed going through them all. If you've liked this video, please do give it a like, thumbs up. It really helps me out. And if you are a lover of colourful makeup, indie brands, just general having fun with makeup, then please do hit that subscribe button and don't forget to hit the notification bell so you don't miss the next time I upload. So thank you so much for joining me today. I hope you're all having a great day, great evening, wherever you are and whatever you're doing. I hope you're taking care of yourselves. I will see you again very, very soon. Goodbye.